Another thing vegans worry about when they are transitioning to their plant-based diet are the nutrients that they will be lacking in. So, B12 is one of them. I've known people when they were still eating meat though to be B12 deficient. It's not, it does not go hand in hand with veganism being B12 deficient. However, many vegans will tell you that you do need to supplement your diet. Everyone needs to supplement their diet, whether they're vegan or not. There are certain nutrients we just can't get all year round. For, for example, vitamin D from the sun. We're not getting it this time of year and we need it, okay? So it's okay to supplement. I always friggin' forget to supplement, but I eat quite a balanced diet, I would say. Um, although I do a lot of junk food on this channel, I actually eat quite healthily. So this company, Dr. Vegan, has kindly sent me actually these B12 vitamins. And these are made from brown rice, brown rice flour. I think that's maybe the shell. And then B12. And there's, it's free from added sugar, starch, sweeteners, gluten, wheat, soya, lactose, dairy-free, artificial flavours, colours and preservatives. Per capsule, there's 2,000... I can't remember how... I can't remember what the UG... I think it's milligrams or something, isn't it? Something like that. Um, so that's them, Dr. Vegan. Um, I will link them below. They're just plant-based vitamin capsules, basically. I'll open them up and show you. I'll take one in front of your very eyes. You could even you could even remove the powder from the capsule. I'll show you, and then just put it in your smoothie. If you're not any good at taking pills and stuff, and you don't like doing it because it makes you gag or whatever, just empty them into your smoothie like this. I'm fine with taking them and just showing this as an example, so you've got no excuse to not take vitamin B12. And did you know, fun fact, that a lot of animals are actually injected with B12 to, so farmers can say, oh, meat's rich in B12. It's not. You're injecting the animal with B12. That's not natural. So we're not getting B12 from the animals. We're cutting out the middleman and we're getting B12, which is actually a bacteria found in the floor from capsules instead of eating dead animals get it, which are injected with B12 anyway, so it's not naturally found in cows, okay? And there, I've had my B12 for the day, and that was flavourless. I couldn't taste it, so that's good. Next, product. This is a product I'm quite excited about. I'm excited about all these products actually, and I hope they're giving you an insight into what products are available out there. But this product here, it's made from beetroot, oats, and onions, red lentils, black beans, brown rice, protein, all sorts, loads of lovely flavors in there as well. And they're called a plant powered meal base. So they're basically, they remind me of vegetable jerky. You know, like beef jerky, but the vegetable variety. And they're little bits that look a bit like bacon with an umami flavor, which is a very, very savory flavor. And um, they smell like Marmite and they're delicious. And I'm gonna do a video using these in some sort of creation I come up with because I think they're a really good product. They are food, a food foundation for bolognese and lasagna, burritos and fajitas, stir fries and salads, and loads of other stuff. So that's a company called ProBeat. They're relatively new. Let's get their followers up on Instagram. Spread the word. This would make a topping for a really nice salad as well. The only way you're going to find out how they taste is by checking them out yourself. But yeah, 
quite big chunks of just sort of meaty, for lack of a better word, plant-based protein chunks. Can you see that? So I think they're a really good product. I want you to go and check them out. They're nut-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, if I haven't mentioned that already. Okay, so please, ProBeat they're called. They're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'll link the website below. Next product. Ketchup. In glass bottles. I love companies that put things in glass bottles. They also, however, have a squeezy bottle. And these ketchups are by the real good ketchup company. And we have one that's, they, they've got 76% less salt, no added sugar, because ketchup can sometimes come with a lot of sugar, that's why it's sweet. Makes sense, doesn't it? Um, and they've, they've got natural sweeteners in it. Very minimal ingredients, tomato paste, water, spirit vinegar, sweeteners, which includes xylitol and stevia. So don't give it to your dogs, but you mustn't give tomatoes to dogs anyway, I don't think. Corn flour, sea salt, onion, garlic, spice. Um, and so they're by a company called Real Good Ketchup, award-winning tomato ketchup, smoky barbecue sauce, and then ketchup in a squeezy bottle as well. No added sugar, and generally just a bit healthier for you than regular ketchup, I feel. I will probably be using these in some sort of video in the future, okay? Cereal bar time. Yum, yum. Okay. This isn't a purely food video. Next product. by Whistler Tree. This is a brand that reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I would like to give one of their purses a go. Now, the reason I love this company is because they use sustainable cork for their accessories. They do bags, they do purses, um, and um, yeah, they make all their stuff from cork. Cork is sustainable. Renewable source, this product leaves little imprint on our environment. And yeah, it's just a purse made from cork instead of leather or any other animal product. And if you look in there, there's room for all your cards, money, and it's quite compact as well. I, most of us, I would say, use bank cards now and not carry too much cash. So plenty of room for cards in there and they do bags as well. Um, so I'm really happy to be giving this company a shout out because these sorts of products are the future and they will end up hopefully eliminating any need for us to use animal products or other people to use animal products in accessories as vegans, we don't use animal products and accessories because we have lovely products like this available to us now. Sustainability as well is key for me. I don't agree with fast fashion. Sure, well. Um, so, I love what companies like that are doing. Next product. This surprised me, this one. If you've heard of the brand Ritter Sport, they are quality chocolate brand and up until this point I only thought you could buy that flavour that was accidentally vegan I was wrong this is vegan this is vegan this is vegan they have four flavours that are accidentally vegan who knew I didn't so we have 74% dark chocolate we have 50% cocoa dark chocolate 61% cocoa selection and their marzipan flavour and they're all vegan I had no idea um, so when they told me about this I was just like 
What? Yeah, sure. Yes. I need to tell people about this because they're a really good chocolate brand. I think they're Swedish or something like that. Oh, German. They're German. Um, delicious. So I just thought I'd let you know because I had no idea that they were vegan, all of them. I've only ever seen this one in the shops. I think Lidl sell them. So a bit of fun information for you there. Four delicious chocolate bars that are all vegan. Right, what have we got here? Another product I really love and is sustainable, plastic free, all that jazz. Now you might have seen in my how to my eco-friendly swaps video something similar to this. I am a huge fan of things like this. I just love them. And this is a bamboo razor. Old fashioned sorts of razors are very, very eco-friendly because before we had plastic, we were using wood. Now this is bamboo, which is a sustainable product in itself. And these razors are not as scary as you think they might be. You just buy a blade that sits on there an old fashioned sort of razor blade. You can get them from all over the place. You'll see in my eco-friendly swaps video more about that. And you just screw it on top there and then shave wherever you want. So as we know, razors aren't just for women. Um, by the way, that's the company, the Clear Confidence Company. So they even have a synthetic shaving brush you know, for men when they want to shave their beard. My dad always used to use a shaving brush and a little bowl of soap when he shaved. So this reminds me of that. I even remember the smell of his soap. Um, so that's that. And you may be asking why there has to be a difference between this and a regular brush. Why is this synthetic? What is the other option? I think they probably use things like badger hair and maybe even boar hair in those brushes sometimes. Um, but this is 100% vegan friendly, so it's synthetic fibres. So, like, if you're, if you're wanting a shaving brush and an old-fashioned shave, then this is the company to go for. So I need to give them a shout-out because... I love things like this and plastic disposable razors are awful if you've seen those pictures of um birds with their beaks stuck in razors and stuff it's just not cool guys so ditch the plastic single-use razors or the the ones that aren't single use but you can change the blade they're all plastic they're all horrible you have to dispose of the blade and it's plastic whereas this the metal it biodegrades and everything and you can dispose of it and it will, you know, it won't just go to landfill or the oceans. So we're nearly at the end, guys. And we're nearly at the time when I'm going to tell you what I've got planned. Okay. What drink are you having in your coffee? I personally like oat milk. If you're struggling to find um, a milk you enjoy... I highly recommend, for me personally, oat milk. I think I've mentioned this in videos before. Um, probably my microwave chocolate cake, can't quite remember. I use soy milk for baking because it curdles and turns into buttermilk and it's just better for baking. It's high in protein, etc, etc. But for my coffee, I like using oat milk. And I will I'll always give oat milk so shout out but this is a new kid on the block by califia farm um oats are good for the well they're better for the environment than like something like almond milk um certainly dairy milk dairy milk is really really bad for the environment uses up so much water very unethical very inhumane um if you're here you probably know about the awful side of dairy if you don't look up the video dairy is scary on youtube for more information um 
and yeah oat milk for me is the way forward so if you're struggling maybe give this go there are plenty of oat milks out there this is unsweetened i prefer unsweetened because i don't like sweet stuff in my drinks i don't have sugar or anything so that is just a quick shout out to them and this is veganuary video and i'm trying to showcase brands that are easy swaps to make now the pièce de résistance This book is my new favourite cookbook, as well as this one. I like cookbooks with pictures, and these both have pictures. I'm a massive foodie, I love my food, you know. Working with the magazines and everything, I'm always creating recipes. So, when I like a cookbook, it means I like a cookbook. This is a lady that goes by the name of Wallflower Kitchen on Instagram. Her name is Amy Ryan. She's super lovely and so is her book. Um, in this book, I've already made on, I put a picture on my Instagram at Christmas, her chocolate orange Christmas pudding. It was delicious, honestly. It was like, a, well, it was a Christmas pudding just with chocolate and orange in, obviously, but it was just so good. And this has just got so many delicious recipes in. Um, and one of my favourites that I'm desperate to try. I'm just trying to find it. Oh, it's there. It's right there. Pork pies. There's a recipe for pork pies in here. It's so exciting. So, yeah. Bangers and mash. There's all sorts in here. Gingerbread men. I'll just quickly show you. Oh, look, a veggie wellington. Can you see all that? I just think it's a fantastic book. And the images are lovely. That's the chocolate orange I made. Um, hot water crust pastry recipe, which is the pastry for um, pork pies and other pies, you know, like that traditional pastry crust. Vegan mayonnaise recipe, sort of an afternoon tea spread we've got going on there. So, yes, I absolutely love this book. I can't wait to try out more recipes in it. And um, again, <clears throat> this is another fantastic book. If you're going vegan and you want food that you usually eat as a non-vegan, this is definitely a book for you. And this is also a lovely book in terms of images and hearty comfort food. So we've got chilli recipe there. Looks nice and healthy. Beefy tempeh. You know I love a bit of tempeh. My Instagram name is I love my tempeh. No, I lost my temper. I don't even remember my Instagram name. No, I lost my tempe. Strawberry lemonade cupcakes. Who doesn't want some of them? So yeah, there's all sorts in here. Fluffy quinoa pancakes. Mini pumpkin bunt cakes with lemon glaze. Doesn't that sound wonderful? And that's by a lady called Isa Chandra Muskowitz, I think. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. Best-selling author of Veganomicon. I might have just made that up. Recipes for vegans, the vegan curious and reluctant parents of vegans. Here to inspire people to cook more and more and become all round better citizens of the world. Isn't that cute? So that's a love, another lovely book that I'm really enjoying this month. Um, oh, she also wrote Vegan with a Vengeance. So I can't recommend these books enough. I absolutely love them. And time for my announcement. You lot, if you head over to my Instagram page very, very soon, you can win, as well as loads of other stuff, and a lot of these products featured in these videos, including rubies in the rubble, these a spice pot box, not this one, a brand new one, not one that I've used. This ketchup, <gasps> these, all of these, a box of these, and both these cookbooks. I am doing a giveaway. 
with all that stuff I've just shown you and more. I'm so excited about it. I hope you're excited about it. So head over to my Instagram. Let me know if you've watched this video. So that's my exciting announcement. Exciting stuff. That's over on my I Lost My Tempeh Instagram. So I really hope you've enjoyed this January Picks video. I've done a November Picks video. I've done a December Picks video with a Christmas theme. This is my January Picks. I hope it inspires you to carry on your vegan journey. I hope you can share it with your friends and it inspires them to carry on their vegan journey. Um, I just want everyone to be vegan, basically. So these sorts of videos are just to show you what's out there, okay? I hope I've done that. I'll be doing them each month, I hope, with products I have enjoyed eating and wearing in some cases and using. As you can see, not all food products. Don't forget to enter that giveaway as well on my Instagram. It's all very, very exciting, isn't it? January is a miserable month. So I hope um, these products bring you some joy. Good luck in the giveaway, everyone. Um, and until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy if you can. If not, just do your best to do all of those things because um, it's tough at the moment. We're in the middle of a lockdown. Um, some of us are working, some of us aren't. So um, I feel blessed that I can still be working through this but some of you aren't and that's okay too okay so just look after yourselves please and if there's anything in this video here that is of interest to you and it's in the giveaway then please enter the giveaway um and if you buy any of the stuff mentioned in this video then let me know i love hearing from you all um and I love chatting to some of you on Instagram as well. We communicate on there as well. So stay safe, everyone, okay? And until next time, goodbye.